And thank you for joining us. We want to get right to that plane crash. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is near the scene in Wesley Chapel. Somehow when the plane came down in this subdivision, it did not hit any homes. You can see it landed right in the backyard behind a house, taking out part of the fence, but did not hit the house and did not hit anyone on the ground. Investigators say they still don't know what caused the plane to crash. This is the Grand Oak subdivision in Wesley Chapel. Thousands of homes here. Pasco Fire Rescue says the crash happened about 11 this morning. People living here heard the crash, saw the smoke and the flames. There's an airport about a mile from here but they would not confirm if the plane took off from there. We also have not gotten the name of the pilot who was killed. Kind of crazy because they fly over our house all the time. We kind of hear them and a little scary. If it happened uh, pretty contained in the backyard of this home. No real large debris field uh, was happening at all. So we're very thankful that uh, the debris field was small and that there were no further injuries. Uh, but our hearts do go out to the family uh, who lost a uh, family member today. One witness tells us the propeller was still spinning on the ground when she came out of her home. Investigators say the plane that crashed is a single-engine Beechcraft. In Wesley Chapel, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.